Hey all, I'm working through the Welsh Verbs project that I've talked about previously, and after creating it, I actually decided, no, I did want to add Docker support, because you can add it very easily as you're creating the project in Visual Studio 2022, but I realized after the fact that I wanted to do it. So it's quite straightforward, right? Because you want to see Docker in the run configurations here, right? So what you want to do is come over here, right? Click on the project name, not the solution, and add. And you should see Docker support. And you get the options just the same way as you did at the start. Now, if you get an error at this point after clicking OK, something about project versions, just like I did earlier, um, it's probably because you at some point had another project linked or this was linked to another project, etc. So just look in the property group and you'll see any reference to Docker will probably mention that project. So just delete those entries and that should fix it, okay? Because that confused me earlier. So if I press OK, the nice thing you see instantly, it generates this Docker file, which it has opened, and it does all that for you. So you don't actually have to think about scripting any of that out. And if I come up to the run configurations, there you go. I got Docker. If I select container and press run, now obviously it's contingent on my project. Maybe I've left an error in the project. Hopefully not. And you'll see I've got Swagger, that's for my project, but also in my Docker desktop app, I can see my Verbs API is running. And it really is that simple. Okay, so I'm progressing through with this. I haven't got that far, but I've just got back into making it. So if you want to follow along, check out more videos on the channel here. And anything else for building projects in C-sharp.net with things like Docker and uh, Blazor and so on, I'm going to be doing more videos. Hope you find this useful. and. Uh, well, I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed.